regret nothing. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling nine to five employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe to ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for, the American dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ, I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and undiscovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. I'm gonna need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. I suppose I need a job, but I ought to find a way to advertise my much sought after employment qualities to the public first. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself.
The ideal utensil to communicate myself to the map. Perhaps I should find an appropriate surface to write on. Ah, the perfect canvas to proclaim my message. I think I need something else to add a message here. Perfect. With this baby, I'll be gainfully employed in no time. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Someone must be compensating for something. Would you like to take me back to your place and pay for my deluxe services? Rats. Can't get discouraged yet, though. This is only the beginning of my job search. Huh? Got any jobs for me? I'm not afraid to get down and dirty. Damn, no luck there. But I can feel gainful employment coming my way soon. One side. Oh, you wouldn't even believe. Goddamn cats. Hi, you have any jobs I can dirty my hands with? I wouldn't buy you for a dollar. 
Ah, what a shame. But I can't let that get me down. I can hear employment calling my name. What? If you got the green, nothing's too dirty for me. I've got $20, if you know what I mean. On second thought, forget that. Damn. But I'm not settling for unemployment. A job has to come sooner or later. Excuse me, do you happen to need any dirty services performed? How about you head back to your side of the border? Phew, this job hunting's tough work. But I'm not giving up just yet. Hey, need your gutters cleaned by any chance? If you got the green, nothing's too dirty for me. Geez, tough crowd. But I know there's employment waiting for me just around the corner. Hi, you have any jobs I can dirty my hands with? If you want work, go see Mr. Below at the job agency. Get out of here, freeloader. Now that's job hunting well done. I guess I better check out this job agency place. I hope the pay is good. Let's see. Ah, there it is.
coming through. Anybody home? Hello? Hello? Don't go, please. Ah, a new client. Come in, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> no, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then, I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry. It's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down to other holes later. An associate is calling for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type, being a big animal lover myself. Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean the local correctional institution, is looking for um, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele. Unless that's what you're into. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal quality. An emergency mayoral alert. I wonder what the trouble could be. Ah, a call for public action. Maybe I'll check it out if I have time.
smoke. Well, well, is this a visitor I see here before me? So are you picking up or dropping off? Uh, I'm here for the job. And what job is that? Subsurface sanitation attendant. <laughs> that must have been a typo. You're a sewer worker, bud. A crack cleaner. A shit shoveler. You'll be waiting knee deep in the excrement of this town's fine citizens. But don't think your hard work is going unappreciated. I'm sure the people up there are thinking of us real thankful like every time they do their business. Now, the jobs you're gonna do are real simple for real simple folk like yourself. I'd help you, but I got a break coming up. Just head through that door, and I'll keep in contact over the radio. Also, if you see any of them other schmucks I sent earlier, tell them they're fired. Oh, and by the way, there's some pretty lethal materials down there. The kind of stuff that'll kill you real quick. So don't forget to put on your hazardous environment suit. But I don't have a hazardous environment. Quit wasting time, son. You're on the clock now. Was that me? She, she'll never invested in The Latin's on the fridge in this wing, so replace those old bulbs. I don't know how many of you lunk kids is gonna take the screw and some light bulbs, but you're the third guy going in today. Well, that really does liven up the place. Let there be light.
Wow. Hey, you want to trade for this thing I found floating in the water? Ow, oh, mommy! I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. That really does liven up the place. Is that booze? Word of advice, don't drink the water. <laughs> 